Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sean from RideSharing101.com. And hey, um, I haven't heard a lot of people talk about the Uber Diamond status. And I wanted to um, touch briefly upon it. Uber has some different levels of, of status depending on um, basically how many rides that you've given in a certain period of time. And the latest period of time for me ends at the end of July. They want me to have like 2,400 points and basically one ride equals one point. If you drive at high need times, let's say weekend nights or early in the morning, you get three points per trip. Now, there's some benefits to Uber Diamond status, you know, free dent removal, um, slightly discounted gas, um, free online tuition at some online university I've never heard of, and, and some other stuff like that. And it's, for me, it's, it's not a big deal. I just drive how I drive and I don't care about the status. I'm not going to drive my car into the ground. I'm not going to kill myself just to get some points. The reason I bring this up though is there's one thing, well, there's two interesting features to diamond status. If any of you out there get um, ride bonuses, for instance, you take 40 rides, you get an extra, $30 for the week. If you do something like that, the Uber Diamond status bonuses are a little higher. And let's say for most people it caps out 100 rides during the week from Monday at 4 till Friday at 4. For 100 rides, let's say you would get $80. Well, under Diamond status, they would up that. If you were diamond status for that 100 rides, instead of getting the $80, you would get, did I say $80? Whatever, let's say it's $80. Well, under diamond status, they'd give you $90. They'd give you a little more. So they they sort of throw in a few extra bucks to kind of tempt you. They also will increase the limit. So if the limit is 100 and it's $80, for diamond status at 120 rides, it might be $100. They might give you an extra an extra bonus. So it's a few bucks extra for the lower tiers and then they have a couple of tiers that are only available to the diamond status drivers. And I realize not everybody has the bonus ride so for some of you it might not even matter. But the other thing that they do that I really like but they should do it for everybody is they tell you a, they, well, they don't tell you. They they give you a a trip duration estimate. So they say, hey, ride roughly 35 minutes. You're like, cool, I'm going to get a long fare. You know, depending on where you're at, that once you pick up this person, this individual, man, woman, group, whatever, that it's going to be a 35-minute ride. And you can plan accordingly. There have been a couple of times where I've had to get around car, which is basically, it's a rental car for those who don't know. You can rent it by the hour. And I had to get it back in, let's say, 45 minutes. And I had to have it, ga I had to have it gassed up. And there's somebody else that had it rented, so I couldn't extend the trip. So I had to bring it back in 45 minutes, and I saw that the next ride was going to be 40, 40 minutes. Well, I can't complete the trip, gas it up, and return the car in that time. So I had to decline it. But it was good to know. So in that case, it was really helpful. In the other cases, it's just nice to know how long the ride is going to be. It's nice to kind of have a sense of how long your trips are. I had several rides when I was in San Francisco and it said 25 minutes, 30 minutes. And I thought, oh, this is going to be an airport ride. And it turned out to be that it was just across town. It's just that it was close to five o'clock, close to rush hour. So they were figuring in traffic and they were, they were pretty close to being right. But it's a really nice feature because it's nice to know, okay, this is a 10 minute ride, cool, whatever. And then, oh, 35, 40 minute, 20 minute. It's really nice when you know how long your rides are going to be. 
It's just a really nice feature. And obviously Uber knows this and they could have been providing this information to us all along. So I don't know why they're making it special for diamond riders. Well, I, I do know why. They want people to, to, to drive as many trips as possible, get this status and, and rely on that, that perk. And it, it, it's, it's a great thing to know. Uber should just do it anyway. They should do it for their drivers for, instead of doing the diamond status, do it for highly rated drivers, Uber. I mean, I, I'm a part-time rider. I've been driving for over five years. I drive part-time. I was off for a year and a half, about nine months, when I just took a break. And I was working in two jobs, not Uber. And then I had a stroke and I was off for about another nine year, nine months. So, but I've driven close to 5,500 rides now. I celebrated five years on the 20th of June last month. So I have a 497 rating. I think that's a pretty good rating. Obviously I'm doing something right. So why don't you show me the bonus based on the rating as opposed to how many rides that I bang out? I mean, if, if I drive all these trips that you want, but my rating is 461, what does that say? It, it's, it tells you what you need to know, which is I'm not that good of a rider. But if I have a 497 rating, which I do, it shows up as a 5.0 rating to a lot of potential passengers. And I did a vlog about that. The vlog was I have a 5.0 rating, which I don't. I have a 497. Or actually, I'm sorry, it, it dipped. I haven't driven for a week. It's 496. Um, so just uh, I just wanted to point this out because no one's really talking about diamond status. You know, people sort of dismissed it. Oh yeah, Uber's got gold and diamond and whatever. There's there's another metal in there, um, and it's really kind of meaningless. But this one feature in the diamond status is really nice, and I wish they would just keep it and just show it to everybody. And there you go. That's the vlog for the day. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please share this video on other sites if you like. Subscribe. That really helps out the channel. And I will see you next vlog. Thanks. Bye.